unfortunately for i don't know there was a doc documentary that i watched it was, it was about something called escorts unfortunately mm -hmm. so um yeah so yeah. yeah i basically researched into it and uh lo and behold i found out that is actual escorts in my country they, these were actual girls that are coming from eastern european countries they're coming actually into the middle east believe it or not i mean i was shocked when i found out about this and I got you. obviously i had a preference i had a preference for you know caucasian looking women so i started meeting them and unfortunately all of my money went to you know meeting them i just pay per hour to meet a girl for like i don't know four hundred dollars sometimes even five hundred dollars um and i like, found i found like, it so easy do you, do you go for dinner or what do you do no actually you meet inside of like a hotel something like that and oh, oh, you know, oh i got you i got you right okay yeah right okay. so yeah basically the country the country is really conservative so you cannot go out outside with these people you know so that's what happened i just found it so easy to like you know all you have to do is go to this website take this number and talk to them and that's it you're you're now sitting with the most beautiful woman that you could ever dream of and mm -hmm. unfortunately as time as time went by i found out that it actually has destroyed me i now i feel like a robot i can i do not have any feelings and uh I, I went broke as well i don't have any money anymore so uh yeah that's what happened all all of this because i the marriage thing was not because it's uh because it wasn't because of the money it was just because i found it difficult i just i found even i found it even difficult like telling my parents that i want to get married i don't know so when i grew up talking about these things in the family was kind of like uh ta some kind of like taboo thing you know so anyways when i found out about the escorts thing unfortunately just because it was easy uh, it was discreet and even even the girls inside of their ads inside of the these websites when they post an ad they say oh don't worry i'm uh, basically your you were um your discretion or whatever is really of utmost important to me and whatnot mm -hmm. so yeah you just go in you meet her and it's as if nobody saw you and all of this me, is happening tell me, it, yeah. you said to me it feels like it feels like it, you feel like it's destroyed you inside what does that mean what does that feel like yani? because you got there's a lot of young men watching you who might be considering this what does what yeah. do you mean tell me how i mean i honestly felt like so, an animal so basically you meet, you you meet a woman you do what you do yeah and then you, you yeah. go your separate ways and then what what's the feeling well the first time it happened uh so this lady was basically russian she was definitely my type uh you know i paid like i don't know 500 dollars. it was an hour and then i uh, basically she left the room she was like i mean she was she wasn't really that interested it, it seemed like she was uh she wanted to, so i asked her she said she was gonna travel like from two days from now so she wasn't in the mood and whatnot basically when she left and i woke, woke up in the morning i i was i was in so much pain that uh i did not wake up next to her you know i was like man th this is not uh, this is not how it should be done if i really like somebody that much they should be still there with me but unfortunately she left and uh, I never saw her since since uh, since then you know basically I felt like an animal I was just like there is no point to what I was doing it was just fulfilling a certain type of fantasy um you know because of you know porn unfortunately it affected me the wrong way so when I see these women I was like uh, I felt entitled basically I see these beautiful uh Caucasian women you know sleeping with whoever because it's pornography unfortunately and I felt entitled and once I basically found out that they're here inside of this country conservative country mind you um it was just like uh, i don't know a door to heaven or whatever but uh, obviously yeah i mean i thank you for for asking me because i would not I never advise anybody to do this because I mean, just because you like her just because she's beautiful does not you does not mean you're going to be fulfilled next you, you're just going to be feeling empty afterwards so can i ask you a question then so obviously yes, this, is, this, this is an interesting point you said you said just because you like her doesn't mean you're going to be fulfilled so you know yeah let me get specific here so whilst you're doing the act do you feel terrible whilst you're doing the act or do you feel terrible after the act is over no uh, right after the act is over during the act you feel like you're drugged you're you're in some you know some some state some trance or whatever but wow. once it's all over with you just the first question that comes to my my mind is why, why did i do this again why did i do this again i promised myself that i'm not going to do it again why am i doing it she's just wow. going to leave i'm just going to this this shouldn't be done like this so uh, yeah and obviously i regret it the whole thing about uh, you shouldn't be doing zina and all of that i mean i regret it. i regret doing it and I, I never thought i was going to do it but the fact that it was so easy 
it was so easy. It's just you have to get a phone number, uh, to, you know, talk about the price and whatnot. You go to this hotel and that's it. It was that easy. But with me, with when it comes to marriage, I felt like there is so many, so many hoops that I have to jump through. I don't know. You have to do walima. You so, have to uh, well, make it public. Was, you have to talk. Halal was hard. Yes. And haram was easy. Yes. Yes, definitely. That that was it. That was that was that was what you made me do it. You mentioned your family yes. found, uh, treated marriage like a taboo subject when you were younger, and therefore you found it difficult yes. to even raise the subject. My, yeah. See, this, please explain that more. Mm -hmm. Break, uh, unpack that for me. All right. So um, obviously, I have one brother, and I have two sisters. Now, let's not talk about the brothers. I'm just going to talk about my sister. My sister got married when she was 36, bro. I mean, I don't know. Believe it or not. And she obviously this she is couldn't speak to my Arab father. World, by the way. It's very common in the Arab world. Uh, yes, yes. This is this is uh, yeah. By the way, I'm uh, from North Africa, so yeah. Uh, this is oh, this uh, very common in my country. This is in North Africa as well. I won't say where. Well, you're yeah, absolutely. Now. So so since I was I was the youngest guy at, at home, my sister was comfortable talk to me. So she told me about this guy she met. I, I believe I was in school, maybe uh, primary school. I was very young. She was comfortable to tell me about this stuff, but. She told me, don't you ever tell my father. She was, she was like this. And this guy, unfortunately, he wasn't like what you call now a high value man. He didn't even have like a diploma. And since my father comes from like a background where you have to have a, you have to have a diploma of some sort. You can't be just walking, uh, working some random job, you know, construction or whatever. I believe this guy was working some kind of construction thing or whatever. She liked the guy, but she could not tell my father about, uh, about it. And she, she always told the, uh, this guy she was meeting that he has to study somehow he has to study he has to have a diploma or something before he comes in and meets uh, my father so yeah he broke it off he got fed up with her and then i don't know somehow she uh, a wrong number or whatever called her and she she met this guy and they got married obviously she does not like this guy but uh, but once they got uh, children now you could say they you know they developed a relationship so yeah that was what happened this is so sad, man. I, I don't know what to say, man. I just want to, you know, before you leave, bro, I just want you to, can you please leave some parting advice for the brothers who may be on the brink of going down this rabbit hole that you went through with these escorts and, ho you know, and hotels yeah. and, and the feeding afterwards? What would be your parting advice? And the easy thing to say would be, brothers, don't do it. But that's it's like, you understand how difficult it is to be to have that sexual frustration, frustration. And at the same time, mm -hmm. you also understand how terrible you feel after doing it in haram. Yeah. What advice, considering you have these two unique experiences in tandem, what advice would you give to the young brothers watching right now? Yes, so my advice would be this obviously the whole thing basically being obsessed with women and whatnot beautiful women uh started with pornography our first thing is i would advise everybody to stay to stay away from it so so one obviously, moment so pornography so was the gateway every time drug. i did it it was because i yeah it was the gateway drug. absolutely like bro. I, I guarantee drug. you if i didn't absolutely yes if i didn't watch that yeah. stuff i guarantee Powerful. you i would be like uh, i would be a virgin now 100 percent um so obviously, I don't know, every every guy has a type of woman. So for me, I don't know, for whatever reason, maybe because of the movies that I was watching when I was young, it was, you know, a Caucasian woman, you know, I don't know, Nicole Kidman, this, whatnot, whatnot. So I basically liked this, these women so much. And I there was times I was telling myself, if I only can get my hand on one of these women, I, my life would be complete. And lo and behold, when I met these escorts, they were, as I told you, uh, Eastern European, Russian look and whatnot. They basically, they were my type, exactly my type. And once I met them and, you know, we, we slept together and whatnot, I can guarantee you, bro, it's not worth it. It is not worth it. If you're a guy and you have a type, you have a fantasy to sleep with whatever woman for, I don't know, for a meeting of one hour, two hours, I don't, I, don't, I don't care how much time. The fact that she's, when you wake up, she's not going to be there, it is not worth it. I guarantee you, she's going to go broke you're, and you're going to use, you're going to lose your dean as well. You're going to struggle with this. And I'm obviously, I wanted to open up here and uh tell you about this stuff i really um, appreciate i really appreciate you coming on and sharing this because you know yeah you know your identity is anonymous which is the main thing but i really appreciate you sharing this with the young men who may be on the brink of doing something like this you know yeah bro, it's not worth such it. a powerful i think that's such a powerful lesson that you have just shared that the gateway drug the bridge was the porn uh, yeah 100 percent. yes 
that was the gateway that was absolutely so yeah stay away from it guys stay stay away from pornography if you're if you're a parent or whatever do whatever you can do to uh, do not give your your children a phone screen or whatnot something where he can have in his own privacy uh, that's mm. totally long mm. just just if you want if, if you want him to give him screen time just let him watch tv with you in a big screen or something like that do not give him privacy Subhan he's going to be destroyed if, if he's prone to this stuff Subhan so yeah brother i thank, thank you, you too really for your much. video that you, thank you thank you for your content brother thank you for your work i appreciate I it really I, I appreciate you coming on and sharing this jazakallah khair and thank you bro so if you like that clip and you want to watch another one click right here and if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.